standard stick 1964 Ford driving from the rear to the front door. And we're looking at the front door. We're sitting there. Not too long after, Chico walks out of the joint with Jimmy Kearns. Now, right off the bat, Engineer couldn't, couldn't put together the relationship. What Kearns doing with Amigo? As far as he knew, they didn't get along. Anyway, they get into a car. It was a cream-colored car. Stay on that car. Don't lose them. We had a stick shift. I was a pretty good wheel man. I'm up to Route 1. And I'm following him. He's going at a good cliff. And I'm right behind him. Lieutenant says, stay with him, stay with him. And I'm right behind him. And he's going. The ramp to Boston, East Boston, was on the right. And I'm right behind him. All of a sudden, a black car. I thought it was the driver, the revered driver. I'm bowing out and get between Chico's car with Jimmy Kearns driving and me. And then the guys in the back seat, follow him, give him, start yelling. I said, what do we do? Let's stay on that car, stay on him. So we stayed on him. All of a sudden, what appeared to be a flash of light came from the car in front of us. We said it was a Buick. Some guy said it was a Cadillac, some guy said, but it was a flash of light from the right. So that guy, he's hit, he's hit, they're screaming and yelling. Chico's car goes down the ramp toward East Boston. The black car continues on straight ahead. I said, where do you want me to go? He said, stay on Chico's car. I go down the ramp into East Boston. Chico's car is up against a Jersey barrier with steam coming out of the engine. Sal Ingenieri in the observer seat gets out and runs to the to Jimmy Kearns, opens the door, drives Jimmy Kearns out and he's bleeding from the forehead and his shirt. I run over, I'm in a state of shock. I run over to Chico. I open up the door, Chico bent over, bent over, and there's blood dripping down. I pushed him back, he had no forehead, blown away. <laughs> Sal Engineer says, How's Chico? I said, He's dead, Lieutenant. <laughs> I said, He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Engineer, like nothing happened, is grilling Jimmy Kearns at the scene. And I'm shaking like a leaf. And Engineer says, He says to me, Lock him up. I said, Lock who up? Now we're in Revere, at least Boston, you know. We do have jurisdiction because we're from the DA's office, whatever. So he calls the Revere Police. I'll never forget they had Mickey Casoli and the lieutenant showed up from Revere. The medical examiner come down at the same scene and they lock up Jimmy Kearns. Because I didn't know what that, what are you locking him up for, lieutenant? He was driving a car. He said, lock him up, book him for accessory before and after. He set up Chico Amico.